Hi, in this video I will finish the construction of the stereo mod for the Atari ST. Initially I will build it on the breadboard and then transfer it over to the protoboard. If you are curious how it will all end up, then keep on watching. In the previous video I have made some preparations while doing the AB drive boot switch and it included pre-drilling of a hole in the cover and connecting some wires to the Yamaha chip. If you haven't seen this video, you can watch it by clicking on the info card in the corner of the screen. Let's now continue and finish this mod. First, we will need a breadboard and some components. These are 4 pieces of 2.5 kilo ohms potentiometers. As I did not have those in my stock, I have used 2K. 4 resistors, which 2 of them are 1K and 2 are 3.3 kilo ohms. A dual pole double throw switch, which will function to switch between mono and stereo signal, a 3.5 female stereo jack connector, and of course a breadboard with some jumper wires. This is the schematics that I have found on the net, which was designed by Rob van der Haar, and it was originally published in a Dutch SAG Atari magazine in December of 1988. I will place a link where I have found it in the description of this video. The YM2149 Yamaha chip has three audio channels and they output audio signals on pins 3, 4 and 38. However, they are all connected together on the Atari ST motherboard. So in order to create a stereo signal, they need to be separated and connected inside the circuit like shown in the schematics here. However, the samples on the Atari ST are sometimes generated by combining the three channels together. So to keep that function intact, we will need to add a switch that will connect them back. This will also allow the sound to be played on a normal monitor with speakers. The function of the potentiometers is to divide the channels across left and right audio signals. So let's hook up the components to the breadboard. Now we can pull out all the wires that I have connected before and also attach the stereo jack connector. The wires of the sound channels were all twisted together so we need to sort them out and hook them up to the breadboard. I am also connecting the switch here. That part was a bit tricky, so I have drawn a schematics to help sort things out. The six dots represent the pins of the switch. Flipping the switch to the mono side will connect up to three signals together. The channel that originates from pin 3 of the Yamaha chip is always connected to the motherboard and it will always stay mono. It is the pins 38 and 4 that are actually split over the stereo channels when the switch is in the stereo position. Let's connect our breadboard mod to the amplifier and test it. I will also hook up the HXC floppy emulator to load up a game. I have connected the stereo output directly to the camera so you can hear how it sounds. Let's flip the switch to the stereo mode. That's a big difference. Let's play a bit with the potentiometers to mix the channels. Ok, the mod is working. Let's solder a protoboard with the components from the breadboard. We have only 7 components, so soldering should not be that hard. I will bridge the larger gaps using wire. And the protoboard is done. Let's hook it up to the wires that are inside the computer. I have made a picture of the breadboard using my phone, so it will be easier to solder the connections. It's not rocket science to do it now.
The switch is next. I have also added shrink tubing to the ends of the pins. Finally, let's solder the audio connector. And it's finished. Having no modulator is actually a good thing, as the board can fit in that place. I thought that I was done drilling holes, but there is still one left to drill for the mono stereo switch. It must be located above the shield. To check where to exactly drill a hole, I will place the shield back and make a mark. Let's proceed with the drilling part on the inside. And finish it up on the outside. My Atari ST is starting to look a bit like a Swiss cheese, but we can now install all the switches and connectors. After placing the motherboard back, let's glue the protoboard with double sided tape in the place where the modulator should be installed. I have also glued electrical tape on the sides of the board to give it a little bit more isolation. The stereo connector and the previously installed AB boot switch can be secured now. The only part left to install is the mono stereo switch. After putting the shield back on, it can be fastened. Now the Atari ST can be finally closed up. I think that the switches look pretty neat. Let's do a final test and play some Pac-Mania. Audio channels 2 and 3 are nicely split across the left and right stereo channels. I hope that you liked this video and if you did then please give it the thumbs up and if you have any questions then let me know by leaving a comment. If you would like to see more of my future videos then please consider subscribing to my channel. Take care and bye bye.